kicks off Saturday, April 16th on Fox and NBC. Welcome to Flash's Entertainment. After a beautiful Friday, our next storm arrives. The timing of a cold front and your chance for snow. Then shots ring out in a Utah neighborhood. Now one person is dead and people living there are on edge. Tonight, the search for a dangerous suspect. Fox 13 News at 9 starts in 90 seconds. Hey, Salt Lake City, ever like to pull the pickles off your burger and eat them first? Then bite into the new Carl's Jr. Triple Pickle Star, only $2.99. Nine deli-style pickles means triple the delectable flavor. For a limited time, only at Carl's Jr. Everyone's a multitasker these days. And with supersonic Wi-Fi from Xfinity, your internet can multitask too. It's got gig speeds to the most homes, advanced security that blocks billions of cyber threats, and enough power for a house full of devices. Plus, when you get Xfinity internet and mobile together, you can save hundreds off your wireless bill compared to T-Mobile. It's for you. Learn more about gig speed Wi-Fi or get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months. Click, call, or visit a store today. They say you can always spot us rookies because we're just so hungry to make it. <laughs> yeah, but they do make them in a size that's much easier to handle. And look, they got their Big Quest nutrition stuff in a chocolate peanut butter cup. My high school coach always told us, after a workout, eat a Quest. But I don't think you have to be an athlete to be on a quest. You just gotta want something big for yourself. There's two in here, right? Hey, Salt Lake City, want some extra burger with your pickles? The new Carl's Jr. Triple Pickle Star has nine crunchy deli style pickles. Only $2.99 for a limited time. And we think that's a really big deal. Bite into a Triple Pickle Star, only at Carl's Jr. Developing tonight, police search for a gunman after a man is found dead inside a car. What neighbors saw right after shots rang out. Right now, tracking additional clouds moving into northern Utah ahead of our next cold front. I'm tracking this storm plus your next chance for snow. Drivers brace for delays. The plan to close down I-80 to replace a crumbling bridge. How it'll impact your weekend travel. And this common dishwashing detergent is going to help slide that big bridge into place. A concerning uptick in shoplifting is plaguing small businesses along the Wasatch Front. Tonight, how one shop is getting creative to put a stop to it. Pass house. Reverse jack. And a key game for the Jazz tonight to determine where they start their playoff run. We start with developing news tonight in Magna where a man was shot and killed near an apartment complex. It happened near 7250 West, 2600 South. That's where Fox 13 News reporter Aaron Cox is tonight. Aaron, you spoke with witnesses who watched all of this happen. Yeah, that's right, Bob. Police have been here for hours going through evidence and speaking with witnesses. One of those witnesses that we spoke with says he watched everything go down from his window. Crime scene tape lines the parking lot of the apartment complex John Dorman calls home. You, you don't expect this is going to happen to you and stuff. This is what you, this is what you see. This is what you see on the news. This is the scene after the crime. Dorman watched it in real time from his window while working from home. Uh, I saw these two men kind of getting a look like they were just kind of horsing around like they were just kind of getting their fists up kind of and I'm just like okay but they didn't actually hit each other so I'm like okay these guys are just messing around. Dorman watched as the two men suddenly ran to their own cars. A neighbor surveillance video shows the victim ram his car into the apartment complex. I heard about 10 shots. Before even calling police, Dorman walked down to the car and saw the man was dead. Very, very dangerous situation. Um, we're very glad that there was nobody else, you know, that was hurt. Detective Kevin Mallory with Unified Police Department says the victim was a Hispanic 20-year-old. The suspect they believe is not a danger to the community. I mean, obviously, it's tragic, right? Like you're you know, heart goes out for the families affected, definitely praying for them tonight. And there's a lot of people affected by this, not just the man that was killed. Now, police responded to Dorman's 911 call around 4.30 p.m. today, and they have been here ever since. They say they've gone through the apartment complex to make sure no one else was injured in this. They have their forensic investigative team on site right now with a long night ahead of them. Live in Magna, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah. Aaron, thanks so much. The location of that crime scene 
was Colony Farms, which is right next to a school. Police say students are out on spring break right now. No one else was threatened by the shooting. Just into the Fox 13 newsroom, a South Ogden boy has been found alive and well after being missing for several days. South Ogden police say the boyfriend of the child's mother, Christopher Marino, has been arrested for kidnapping. The boy's mother, Taryn Pierce, has also been arrested in Wyoming. She will be extradited back to Utah. The boy who was with her at the time will be reunited with his father when he arrives in Wyoming. We'll continue to follow this story and update you as necessary. Happening now, this is a live look at I-80 in Sugar House, where they're shutting down the freeway this weekend. It'll be closed from Foothill Drive to 700 East until Sunday afternoon, so UDOT crews can replace an old bridge. Fox 13 News reporter Scott McCain spoke with UDOT about the unique way they're approaching this project. This span of 1700 East over I-80 has been here since before a man walked on the moon, Woodstock, and way before TikTok. This bridge was built back in the 1960s. It's done a great job over the years, but it's time to replace it. In order to do that, crews need to shut down I-80. The goal is to demolish, remove, and replace the old bridge as quickly as possible and with minimal impact on I-80 traffic. This is the perfect case of accelerated bridge construction. Now we can uh, we can demolish the, the old bridge, slide in the uh, new bridge into place, and, and do that all in a period of a weekend, which is, which is pretty incredible. That's because UDOT crews have spent the past several months building this new bridge right next to the old one. And when demolition is complete sometime Saturday, the new bridge slides into place. That will take about nine hours and requires using hydraulic jacks, metal shoe slides, and believe it or not, Dawn dishwashing detergent. And those sit on some pads that are slippery, low friction. And then we apply dish soap. And so it's super slippery and use hydraulic jacks to slide it into place. It also means pedestrian traffic will be impacted on this very popular route but only for this weekend. Wow! <laughs> that's my, that's my e expression of like, wow, of gratitude. Nancy Ballard, her friend Carla, along with Louie the dog, walk across this bridge nearly every day. They're thrilled it's going to be accessible again by Monday and that it will feature new and improved biking and walking lanes on each side. I'm thrilled. Good for them. Thank you, UDOT. Just a reminder, this is going to have a significant impact on those who typically use Interstate 80. It's going to be closed from Foot of Boulevard to 700 East beginning right about now all the way till Sunday afternoon. There are plenty of alternate routes available. Stay with Fox 13 News and we'll keep you updated on those alternate routes. In Sugar House, Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah. That's going to be the cleanest bridge in Utah with all that dish soap. I guess so. Sliding it into place like that. And the workers are going to have to wear, you know, dress for cooler temperatures. Yes, we got spoiled today. 70s here across the state today, but a cold front is approaching. It moves in throughout the day tomorrow. It's just off to our northwest right now. And what you can expect with this will be cooler temperatures and a lot of wind. Right now it's pretty calm here across the state, but this is really going to ramp up as we head into tomorrow. But as you wake up here along the Wasatch Front, 5 a.m., 54 degrees, 7 a.m., 48 by 9 a.m., Temperature is still close to 50 degrees, so we'll end up with additional clouds overnight tonight, and then tomorrow we'll have partly cloudy sky, much cooler temperatures, and a lot of wind. 55 for a high tomorrow, so that's a good 20 degrees cooler than it was today. Top weather headlines, really nice weather tonight. Enjoy the warmth while we have it. Great weather for hanging out outside for just a little bit longer. And then we've got our cold front tomorrow. Wind really ramps up in eastern Utah. And then we also have a strong storm in the forecast Monday through Wednesday. We're talking about the potential for one to two feet of snow up in the mountains. We could see snow all the way down to the valley floors for much of the state. So we could see some travel impacts if this turns into a significant winter storm, which has the possibility to be 
early next week. We'll talk more about that storm and this weekend's cold front coming up in your full forecast. All right, Allison, thanks. New tonight, a teen from Washington State is dead after a rollover crash in Box Elder County. It happened just before 4 this afternoon on I-84 near the Utah-Idaho border. Authorities say the family was headed back to Washington State when their car rolled. A 15-year-old girl in the front passenger seat was partially ejected and died on scene. The 17-year-old female driver and the mother of the two girls were both taken to a nearby hospital. They're expected to survive. Troopers say wind gusts and the teen driver's lack of experience contributed to this tragic accident. The Willard Police Department sent Fox 13 News this intense dash camera video showing multiple agencies working together during a chase in Box Elder County. They were trying to stop a man after he allegedly threatened a family. We first reported on this incident last Saturday. This next scene is the moment they were able to stop and arrest 47-year-old Brandon Chapel of Brigham City. The family threatened by Chapel says he approached them at the Brigham City Sports Complex and seemed to be having a mental episode. Police say Chapel intentionally rammed three of their patrol cars, damaging five of them. There was a structure fire in downtown Salt Lake today. It was in attached vacant buildings at 334 West 800 South. Officials are still investigating the cause. Even though it's a vacant structure, we're always going to do due diligence and search the structure as quickly as possible so that we can confirm that there's no um, unhoused or, or people that are experiencing homelessness in the area of the structures or inside. And they did confirm that no one was in the building and no one was hurt. The White House is celebrating Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's historic confirmation to the U.S. Supreme Court. Here in America, Anything is possible. We'll share more of what the soon-to-be justice had to say. Utah school kids take a shot at designing the new Utah state flag. Now it's your turn. The deadline you need to know if you want a chance to make history in Utah. And we're in the final games of the NBA regular season. How the Utah Jazz is stacking up against one of the best teams in the league, the Phoenix Suns, tonight at the Viv. Breck Bolton, part of Utah's Weather Authority. Over 25 years forecasting Utah's weather. Does a sign language forecast for the deaf community and a Utah native who loves the outdoors. Fox 13 News is Utah's Weather Authority. Eliminate stress at iMart Express. New customers, you'll love your new you with 40% off your first purchase and a 365-day guarantee. Quality glasses made in-store and free frame and lens protection for a year. At iMart Express, seeing better is living better. Stream Fox 13 News online anytime. Free on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Apple TV. Just search Fox 13 on your device and join us. Sponsored by Wingers and only from Fox 13. After you've been injured in an accident, you're going to have a lot of questions. How much will I get for my car? Who pays my medical bills? Will I ever be able to work again? How do I find the right doctor? Should I be talking to the insurance company? When does my claim settle? How do I get money? Who can answer all of these questions? We can. When you have questions, we have answers. Call Siegfried and Jensen today. It's the final days of Ford Truck Month. Your last chance to get after the best deals on Ford F-Series. America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Get a new Ford Ranger or drive home a Ford Maverick. Time is running out, so let's get after it during the final days of Ford Truck Month. Get an F-150 or Ranger built your way, plus 1,000 bonus cash on top of all public offers when you custom order. But hurry, it all ends May 2nd. 
How do we make your glasses the same day? It's all done in store. Our skilled techs handle your glasses from start to finish, getting them back the same day. Quality, affordable glasses made in store only at iMart Express. As gas prices go up, Fox 13 is here to help. Scan the code on your screen to find the cheapest gas prices near you. Ease the pain at the pump. And thanks for watching Fox 13 News. Dozens of people are believed dead after a missile attack on a train station in Ukraine. This station was being used as an evacuation center for Ukrainians fleeing the Russian invasion. The conflict is now in its seventh week. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called the attack evil and asked Western countries to send more heavy weapons to help Ukraine fight off Russian forces. In national news, more members of Congress say they've tested positive for COVID-19 this week, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Today, the White House acknowledged with an uptick in cases, it's possible President Biden could at some point become infected. It's a new turning point for the administration and a test for the country now learning to live with the virus. We've had these outbreaks periodically over the months, and uh, I think COVID is not completely over. From Tuesday to today, 13 members of Congress tested positive for COVID. White House officials report the president tested negative today. Lawmakers left town without passing a $10 billion COVID relief package. They're on recess for the next two weeks. The Idaho Supreme Court has temporarily blocked a new state law banning abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. Last month, Idaho became the first state to enact legislation modeled after the Texas statute banning abortions after six weeks gestation. The ruling from Idaho's high court means the new law will not go into effect as planned on April 22nd. The state Supreme Court will continue to consider the case before making it its ultimate decision. Today, the White House celebrated the historic confirmation of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, soon to become the first black woman on the nation's highest court. Jackson will be sworn in after Justice Stephen Breyer retires in late June or early July. Her history-making confirmation will make this one of the most diverse Supreme Courts ever. It will still lean conservative, six to three, but there will soon be four women on the court. It has taken 232 years and 115 prior appointments for a black woman to be selected to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. But we've made it. We will first see Justice Jackson on the bench in October when the next court term begins. Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson and Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall were at the White House today for Jackson's speech. Mayor Wilson wrote, so moving to witness this historic day, Mayor Mendenhall wrote, SLC is working on bringing equity and inclusion to the forefront in all we do. And it's thrilling to see our federal institutions better reflect the people they serve. In entertainment news, actor Will Smith is banned from the Oscars and all other Academy of Motion Picture and Arts and Sciences events for the next 10 years. The decision was announced today, less than two weeks after Smith's now infamous slap of Chris Rock. In its statement, the Academy apologized for not setting a better example in the moment and commended Rock for maintaining his composure. I guess we'll have to just learn to live with cooler temperatures tomorrow. We've been spoiled this week, haven't we? Such a nice Friday. Yeah, you know what? I worked outside the entire time. In fact, I'm outside right now. <laughs> just mentally, you're yeah. there. Yeah, no, I'm really there. <laughs> this is just an apparition. I guess so, yes. Now, if you could also go over to my yard and work on some weeding, yeah, that'd be I, great. I'll, I'll be on that right away. Okay, thank you, thank you. So tomorrow and Sunday, quite a bit cooler. Tomorrow will be the warmer of the days, but it's going to also be the windier of the days. So it's just not a 
perfect weekend forecast, unfortunately. A very pretty sunset tonight, though. Those clouds all moving in from the west just really made for a stunning scene tonight. Salt Lake City currently 68 degrees. It is still warm here in Salt Lake City. Full visibility, dry roads right now. Wind is out of the south about 5 to 15 miles per hour. We made it to 76 here in Salt Lake City today, so not too far off of a record of 81 degrees. But downtown Salt Lake City actually did set a record today. Our official keepings, though, for Salt Lake is out near the airport, and that's where we hit the 76 today and didn't beat the record of 81 degrees. Your sun will rise tomorrow at about 7 a.m., and we're also going to see the wind picking up tomorrow. So right now, fairly calm here across the state, and we're starting to see our ridge of high pressure breaking down. So we've had high pressure as our main story the last few days. We've had storms off to our east, but we've got our next system coming in. This trough is going to end up bringing us a cold front and also some chances for some isolated showers tomorrow, mainly across central and southern Utah. And then we're seeing a lot of clouds moving in also. Now what you're seeing right here, some of these returns, the green on the radar, that's not reaching the ground, but we could see a few isolated chances for showers this weekend, but the biggest impacts will be a major cool down and also we do have some windy conditions in the forecast. Wind advisories have been posted for portions of eastern Utah and down towards Escalante. So what we're going to be tracking for you here in the next few days will be much cooler temperatures for tomorrow. We are going to see additional clouds tonight, so we're really not going to cool terribly this evening. It'll just briefly make it into the 40s first thing tomorrow morning, and then our temperatures will be in the 50s for a high tomorrow. So overnight temps here in Salt Lake, 6 a.m around 45 to 50 for Price, Provo, Eagle Mountain, close to about 50 degrees at 6 a.m. for Twila, Salt Lake, Ogden. Now keep in mind, we're going to continue seeing a little bit of overnight cooling until that sun rises near 7 a.m. That's typically the coldest part of the day. And then by tomorrow afternoon, 4 p.m., it'll be about 55 degrees here along the Wasatch Front. So not as warm as it was today in the upper 70s, a good 20 degrees colder. But you're going to notice that wind is really going to be picking up, especially across eastern Utah tomorrow. We do have the chance for a few isolated showers, mainly in southwest and eastern Utah. Then our chance for precipitation here in Salt Lake really starts to go up early next week. So for this weekend, we'll see some isolated chances Saturday. And then Monday... Look at this. We're going to see some widely scattered chances here in Salt Lake City for precipitation. And then by Monday night into early Tuesday, that's going to be our most likely chance for precipitation here in Salt Lake. We'll start off with valley rain, mountain snowfall, and then we're going to be cooling with another cold front on Tuesday, and we're going to see chances for snow. So Tuesday day, widespread to likely here in Salt Lake. Tuesday night, scattered to widespread and then we'll continue with some chances into the end of next week. So much bigger changes are on the way for next Tuesday through Wednesday. St. George close to 90 Saturday with windy conditions Saturday and Monday. Much cooler by next Tuesday here in Salt Lake. We're cold this weekend 40s and 50s 61 on Monday. Temperatures close to 40 next Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll talk more about this storm and some chances for some snow through the end of next week later in the hour. Thank you, Allison. Just ahead, a big change is coming to Antelope Island State Park. How a new facility will improve the visitor experience. Plus, Utah's Lieutenant Governor is calling out Delta Airlines on social media. How the airline is responding tonight. When it comes to cybersecurity, the biggest threats don't always strike the biggest targets. So help safeguard your small business with Comcast Business Security Edge. It's advanced security that continuously scans for threats and helps protect every connected device on the largest, fastest, reliable network with speeds up to 10 gigs to the most small businesses so you can be ready for what's next. Get started with internet and voice for just $64.99 a month and ask how to add Security Edge or ask how to get up to an $800 prepaid card. Even with less traffic, the percentage of serious injury accidents throughout Utah has actually increased. If you've been wrongfully injured, Call us now to help you get every dollar you deserve. Craig Swap and Associates, one call, that's all. Home, it's a small word with a big meaning. It's more than a roof over your head. 
Home protects us, binds us together, and houses a lifetime of memories. For over 80 years, Golden West Credit Union has helped families of all kinds find the place they call home. Start your home improvement project with a home equity line of credit for only 1.5% APR fix through the end of 2022. Apply now at GWCU.org. We'll take care of you. At Siegfried & Jensen, when we say we're here for you, it's not just a slogan. We live it every second of every day because our roots are here. Our attorneys live here, and so do our staff. Call us today. Is it back yet? Is it back yet? Is it back yet? Is it back yet? Dell, yeah, it's back. Try Del Taco's new stuffed quesadilla jumbo shrimp tacos made with queso and freshly grated cheddar, grilled between two flour tortillas and stuffed with crispy jumbo shrimp. Get them with fresh guac, too. Stuffed quesadilla jumbo shrimp tacos only at Del Taco. When you've been stepping up since you were little, when you never, ever give up on someone, when your impulse is always to help, it shows. Dressing wounds, starting IVs, that's what you do. Who you are is even more important. We are the people behind the HCA Healthcare Promise. For our patients, for our communities, for each other. You can count on us to show up. If you want a super low price on an RV, you come see me at Paris RV. University of Utah students are preparing to know what to do if there's ever a terror attack. They're talking and taking a course called the Global Perspective on Counterterrorism. At the end of the semester, they'll simulate what Congress would do with the challenges of today's world. There's an enormous amount of information that's thrown at them during the course of the three hours. They have to discern what's important, what's not important, what's misinformation, what's dis disinformation. It's run by Professor of Law, Amos Giora. The simulation design class created the scenarios based on real world events. For three long hours, students must decide how to respond, imagining the whole world is watching. Construction will begin soon on a new visitors and learning center at Antelope Island State Park. Fox 13 News anchor John Franke explains why it's needed and how it will improve the visitor experience. That cement block up there sort of reminds me of a World War II pillbox. The Antelope Island State Park Visitor Center was built in the 90s. It served its purpose. It's functioned well for us, and, uh, but it's inadequate. But it just can't keep up with the popularity of one of Utah's most visited state parks. We have over a million visitors a year. Spencer Kennard is part of a group called Friends of Antelope Island. He helped unveil plans to build an upgraded facility. We've been working on ideas of how to improve this visitor center for ever since the first part was built. As for that first part, it was built back in 1996. Unfortunately, so long the water's gone, but, but hopefully it'll come back. Additions never happened, but that didn't keep visitors away. Just been climbing like crazy. Park manager Jeremy Shaw tells me the park welcomed more than a million people last year, about four times as many as 10 years ago. This facility can't possibly host that many people. The new center will have a large space for school field trips and a research lab for scientists and university students to study things like water samples and lake levels. This will have a working lab inside, whereas this, as the public comes through, they can see the university staff doing their work. It seems like everything in Utah is growing these days. This new facility will finally help one of the state's most iconic landmarks catch up with that growth. We're going to look towards 2 million visitors. It could be the start of more improvements down the road as more people choose to explore the outdoors. It's a big island. It's got lots of room. We don't want to degrade the resource. So we're trying to make plans now. My, my staff and I talk about it all the time. Uh, how do we responsibly host that many people? The cost of the project, about $13 million. That money was approved by the Utah State Legislature. Now they hope to have shovels in the ground later this year. The construction could take about eight months. So that means this new center could open by the middle of summer of the year 2023. At Adult Island State Park, John Franke, Fox 13 News. Utah. We decided, you know what? We're going to make you famous. Local businesses all across the Wasatch Front are seeing an increase in shoplifting. Coming up, how one shop is stopping thieves. So who, um, who do you think this represents for Utah? Here's your chance to design the new Utah State flag. Robots are taking over Utah. I'm April Baker, and I'll show you the high-stakes, cutting-edge competition that started today.
Hey, Salt Lake City, ever like to pull the pickles off your burger and eat them first? Then bite into the new Carl's Jr. Triple Pickle Star, only $2.99. Nine deli-style pickles means triple the delectable flavor. For a limited time, only at Carl's Jr. Buying a house is complicated, so embracing stuff. Heard it brings good luck. Well, maybe try Chase My Home. You can search homes and loans together. I'm not, not listening. Shows what you can afford, plus close on time or get $5,000. So you can stop breaking stuff. Uh-huh. Come on, bring it in. Sorry about your stuff. Take the easier way home. Chase, make more of what's yours. Hi, Paige Davis here, excited to tell you that I'm going to be starring in Pioneer Theatre Company's production of Hello, Dolly. It's May 13th through the 28th. And for tickets, go to pioneertheatre.org. See you soon. <laughs> the attorneys at Robert DeBry and Associates help the community by subsidizing the cost of bike helmets, supporting mothers against drunk driving, and giving free rides home from bars during holidays. Robert DeBry and Associates, helping accident victims and the community. The road can be a crazy place. Uh oh. That's why Let's Drop Tires fixes brakes, steering, and more. And those guys don't. Ugh, keep driving. I'm just glad Les Straw puts my safety first, so I can backseat drive with confidence. At the Les Schwab Spring Tire Sale, save up to $150 when you buy select tires with financing. Les Schwab Tires, celebrating 70 years of doing the right thing. Okay, let's start with some clouds. Some mountains over there. And finally, a river. Hey, Dad. Look. Looks like the perfect spot. American Family Insurance is here to protect your family on the road with the Travel Peace of Mind package. Get a quote or find an agent at AmFam.com. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. Xfinity Mobile runs on America's most reliable 5G network, but for 30% less than T-Mobile. So you have more money for more stuff. This phone, fewer groceries. This phone, more groceries. This phone, fewer concert tickets. This phone, more concert tickets. And not just for my shows. Switch to Xfinity Mobile for 30% less than T-Mobile. New and existing customers get amazing value with our everyday pricing. Switch today. Hey, Salt Lake City, want some extra burger with your pickles? The new Carl's Jr. Triple Pickle Star has nine crunchy deli-style pickles. Only $2.99 for a limited time. And we think that's a really big deal. Bite into a triple pickle star, only at Carl's Jr. Caught on camera, shoplifting at a Utah business, and the number of incidents is spiking. Still hurting from the pandemic, stores are begging people to stop stealing. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree shows us how one Ogden shop came up with a creative solution to stop thieves. Endless indulgence has security down to a science. I think we have around 12 cameras now. Carrie Vondras says the first time someone stole from her store, she knew she had to do something. We decided, you know what, we're going to make you famous. And so we decided to start, we'll hang anyone's picture in the window for hopefully to deter people in the future, but also to let them know that we haven't forgotten about it because we can't raise the price of our inventory to cover theft. But even a dozen cameras can't stop this new kind of shoplifter. Now they come in with the coats on, the hoods up, sunglasses on, mask on, you can get absolutely no idea. One shop in Park City came up with a different solution, making some new rules. Splendor Beauty announcing last week that no one under the age of 15 can come in without a guardian. Groups can't be larger than four people, and anyone with a coat or bag has to check it at the door. I want to see fun, good people coming in all the time. As soon as you start stealing from me, it gets my hackles up and it changes my personality. Fondra says she hates having to put so much money and energy into preventing shoplifting, but she has no choice. We're struggling to stay alive for lack of support, and now people are stealing. Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah. 
The Utah Department of Public Safety's new crime in Utah dashboard indicates Weber County has seen a rise in shoplifters over the past several years. Meanwhile, in Salt Lake County, the number of shoplifting cases has actually gone down year to year. The deadline is approaching to submit your design for a new state flag. Utah's current flag is going away. Everyone is asked to come up with a design idea for the new one. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has more from Utah's Capitol Hill. <laughs> Kids at the Boys and Girls Club of Murray drew some ideas for the new Utah state flag. Yellow means sun. Sun. And red means hot. And it just like symbolizes just like my family. It's part of a statewide push by the legislature and Utah's Department of Cultural and Community Engagement to solicit ideas. People um, across the state get to draw what they think you should, Utah and Utah's flag should be. And so we're asking everybody before April 30th to do this. The legislature passed a bill creating a special commission to come up with a new design. The existing state flag has been criticized for being boring. It's been called a state seal on a blue bed sheet. So who, um, who do you think this represents for Utah? Do, do you feel connected to this flag? The new Utah state flag is meant to be more reflective of who we are and easier to recognize. Utah's Department of Cultural and Community Engagement is traveling all over to get children, adults, everyone to submit ideas. The orange sand of the desert and then there's the beehive to represent the older generations. They've also created a special website to take sketches and words to come up with a new flag because it represents the state. Ten-year-old Gabby included symbols and colors to reflect how she sees Utah. I put a bee right there for all the bees in Utah. Okay. And then the purple flower is like for the purple flowers and grapes. The deadline to submit a flag design is the end of this month. The commission will then take all of the ideas and professional artists will create compilations for public comment. A final flag design will be voted on by the legislature at the end of this year. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah. Utah Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson called out Delta Airlines last night on Twitter. She tweeted that Delta pilots walked off a flight in New York that was supposed to come to Salt Lake City. She wrote it stranded her friend who needed to get to Utah immediately to treat a life-threatening medical condition she had just discovered on vacation. Fox 13 News has reached out to Delta and Lieutenant Governor Henderson for comment. The Lieutenant Governor's office says she has no further comment. But Delta sent us this statement saying when Delta must cancel a flight, it is after all other options are exhausted. Significant disruptive weather and air traffic control delays in New York City yesterday unfortunately resulted in the flight crew's legal duty time expiring before departure. Delta went on to say, we have engaged with the Lieutenant Governor's office to offer additional support as needed. We apologize to all for the inconvenience caused by this flight cancellation. Coming up, how the COVID variant you had may determine the symptoms that stick around for a long time. Plus, robots take over the Maverick Center. We'll explain what's going on here. And coming up, I'm tracking a cold front that's starting to move into northern Utah tonight. I'll let you know what you can expect for your weekend and the timing of a strong winter storm. Eliminate stress at iMart Express. New customers, you'll love your new you with 40% off your first purchase and a 365-day guarantee. Quality glasses made in-store and free frame and lens protection for a year. At iMart Express, seeing better is living better. Everyone's a multitasker these days. And with supersonic Wi-Fi from Xfinity, your internet can multitask too. It's got gig speeds to the most homes, advanced security that blocks billions of cyber threats, and enough power for a house full of devices. Plus, when you get Xfinity Internet and mobile together, you can save hundreds off your wireless bill compared to T-Mobile. It's for you. Learn more about gig speed Wi-Fi or get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months. Click, call, or visit a store today. 
for over 50 years, we've been experts at transmissions, brakes, tune-ups, and more. We provide free towing to any of our 10 locations across the Wasatch Front. Right now, receive $250 off our transmission rebuild. We're here to help with our no-credit-needed financing. When it comes to vaping, none of the news is good. It's the final days of Ford Truck Month. Your last chance to get after the best deals on Ford F-Series. America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Get a new Ford Ranger or drive home a Ford Maverick. Time is running out, so let's get after it during the final days of Ford Truck Month. Get an F-150 or Ranger built your way, plus 1,000 bonus cash on top of all public offers when you custom order. But hurry, it all ends May 2nd. It's spring tire sale time at Burt Brothers Tire and Service, and the savings on brand name tires are rolling in. Now through April 18th, get up to $200 off select Goodyear tires, up to $120 off select Bridgestone tires, and up to $90 on select Firestone tires. Plus, the savings will grow when you use your Burt Brothers card, from brakes, tires, and oil changes to complete auto care. Let Burt Brothers family take care of you and your family's vehicle service needs. Burt Brothers, complete auto care, done better. How do we make your glasses the same day? It's all done in store. Our skilled techs handle your glasses from start to finish, getting them back the same day. Quality, affordable glasses made in store, only at iMart Express. Robots have invaded the Maverick Center in West Valley City. But as far as we know, their intentions are not sinister. It's actually an annual high school competition, which started today. Fox 13 News anchor April Baker takes us there. COVID may have stopped them last year, but not this time. These cutting-edge machines, hand-built by high school students, are back for the 12th annual Utah Regional First Robotics Competition. These kids work all year building their robots. They're here to test it out and uh, compete like crazy. The robot's mission is to gather balls and get them into goals. Having only a matter of minutes to do this while maneuvering around obstacles and fixing problems with their robots that pop up in real time. A lot of the times the robots will break down. You'll see them in their pits over there wrenching on robots. 42 teams are registered for this year's competition from Utah and other states across the Intermountain West with one team even from China. More females are jumping into the game, too. We talked with a co-captain from a team from Idaho that's mostly made up of young women. I think it's really inspiring because um, when I first joined the team, it was really awesome to see other women um, around my age in positions of leadership. It's really important to see someone like yourself doing something like this. The competition finals will take place tomorrow. Winners will move on to the Nationals in Houston later this month. In the newsroom, April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah. Still ahead, unraveling the mysteries of long COVID. New research suggests the variant you had could influence which symptoms linger longer. We'll explain. And later in sports, could uh, Tony Finau and Tiger Woods maintain that magic at the Masters? I'll show you around two. Well, the Jazz still had hope for that four seed in next week's playoffs. Got to be first place Phoenix first, though. Back in a bit. A 2020 law that effectively decriminalizes polygamy in Utah. We had a serious human rights crisis. Allowing those in plural families to live out in the open. You can be honest about your lifestyle. But after two years, is the law protecting those it should? Abusers are still abusers. I really don't think that it made the difference that they had hoped that it would make. Fox 13's Ben Winslow goes in-depth on the major cultural shift happening in once closed off communities. Sunday at 9 on Fox 13 News. Locker and Margaritaville Tequila present Jimmy Buffett of the Coral Reefer Band. Life on the flip side, Tour 2022 Redux. One night only at Vivint Arena, October 10th. Reserve seats on sale Friday, April 15th at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. It's five Don't miss Jimmy Buffett of the Coral Reefer Band, October 10th. Presented by Margaritaville Tequila and Landshark Lager. After you've been injured in an accident, you're going to have a lot of questions. Who pays my medical bills? Will I ever be able to work again? Who can answer all of these questions? We can. 
Call Siegfried and Jensen today. Is it back yet? Is it back yet? Is it back yet? Is it back yet? Dell, yeah, it's back. Try Del Taco's new stuffed quesadilla jumbo shrimp tacos, made with queso and freshly grated cheddar, grilled between two flour tortillas, and stuffed with crispy jumbo shrimp. Get them with fresh guac, too. Stuffed quesadilla jumbo shrimp tacos, only at Del Taco. Home. It's a small word with a big meaning. It's more than a roof over your head. Home protects us, binds us together, and houses a lifetime of memories. For over 80 years, Golden West Credit Union has helped families of all kinds find the place they call home. Start your home improvement project with a home equity line of credit for only 1.5% APR fix through the end of 2022. Apply now at GWCU.org. We'll take care of you. As a small business owner, your bottom line is always top of mind. So start saving with Comcast Business Mobile. Flexible data plans mean you can get unlimited data or pay by the gig, all on the most reliable 5G network, with no line activation fees or term contracts, saving you up to $500 a year. So boost your bottom line by switching today. Get the new Samsung Galaxy S22 series on Comcast Business Mobile. And for a limited time, save up to $750 on a new Samsung device with eligible trade-in. Even with fewer people on the roads this past year, the percentage of serious injury accidents throughout Utah has actually increased. Please be cautious and courteous while driving. If you've been injured in a wreck at the fault of someone else, call Craig Swap and Associates first. We're available right now to review your case for free. Our experience and expertise will always represent your best interests and get every dollar you deserve. Craig Swap and Associates, one call, that's all. Researchers say there's new evidence that different COVID variants can lead to different long COVID symptoms. It's the first time scientists have made such a link. Derek Stahl goes in depth tonight on the study and the implications for the millions of long haulers. I might have a severe headache for a week. Extreme fatigue. I started falling all the time. Long haul COVID is a disease that hits people differently. I can't walk. The brain fog. I could barely roll around in bed. The muscle aches. I just kept uh, smelling the smell. The chills. There are more than 200 documented symptoms. Sometimes I'll just start crying out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Because it's just so hard. Now, a new study suggests some of those differences may have to do with the Greek letter that infected you. Researchers in Italy looked at 428 patients who had been hospitalized with COVID and later developed long COVID. All of them were infected early on by either the initial form of the virus or the first major variant, alpha. The researchers found the two most common long haul symptoms in their study group were fatigue and trouble breathing, regardless of the variant. But beyond that, long haulers infected by alpha were much more likely to report muscle aches, trouble sleeping, brain fog and anxiety. Long haulers infected with the original strain were more likely to report ear, nose and throat problems like loss of smell, difficulty swallowing or hearing problems. I think it's really interesting that the different variants seem to correlate with different long-term symptoms. Um, it's, it's almost not surprising because we know that um, some of the variants had a little bit of differences in terms of their acute symptoms. Dr. Lucy Horton runs the long COVID clinic at UC San Diego. She says other studies have demonstrated that different variants grow better in different parts of the body. Delta grows best deep in the lungs, causing more coughing and fever in the initial stage of the disease. Omicron grows best in the throat and upper airways, causing more sneezing. She says it makes sense those findings would apply to long COVID symptoms as well. 
The Italian study did not examine Delta or Omicron. And I think understanding whether those long COVID symptoms are different um, will be really important since, you know, we need to plan for caring for large numbers of patients, especially who are infected during Omicron. The study did find gender plays a big role in long COVID risk. Women were almost twice as likely to report long COVID symptoms than men, something they're also seeing at UCSD. It's been hypothesized that maybe there is a hormonal effect, um, but that hasn't really been proven so far. We know that women have higher rates of most autoimmune diseases. Um, and so if there is that autoimmune link, it would certainly make sense why there is a female predominance. Dr. Horton says part of the challenge of treating long COVID is that there are so many symptoms under one label. But she says with more studies like these, scientists can develop subcategories of long haulers, which will help them find more targeted therapies. Derek Stahl, Fox 13 News, Utah. Isn't it interesting that the longer we go, the more we learn about COVID-19. And it also seems like the more questions we have now on the different variants and it's just what a weird sickness. Yeah. And, and I have a feeling we'll just go on learning more oh, and man. more and more and more. Unfortunately, well, I guess it's good to learn more about it so we can avoid it, hopefully. There but, you go. You know, wow. All right, beautiful day here across the state. Gorgeous spring day. Terry Kay sent this in. I don't know where this patio is, but I would have loved to have been on that today. What a scene. Temperatures in the 70s today. We had a little bit of wind mainly into Nevada. That has all calmed down now that our sun has set, but we're going to see that wind picking up again tomorrow. So first thing tomorrow morning, temperatures dropping into the 40s briefly about 8 a.m. And then our temperatures are hardly going to warm up tomorrow. So throughout the entire day, you're only going to make it into the mid 50s. So it's going to be cooler than today by about 20 degrees. And it's also going to be breezy. Satellite and radar right now here across northern Utah. A lot of clouds have moved in, made for a br very pretty sunset tonight. Some of the green returns that you're seeing on radar right here, not quite reaching the ground. We did the chance for a few isolated areas of showers this weekend. Better chance as a stronger storm moves in. Monday night through Wednesday next week. So overnight tonight, Friday night into Saturday morning, 7 a.m., close to 45 degrees for Price, Provo, Eagle Mountain, close to 50 for Twila, Salt Lake, Ogden tomorrow morning. St. George, mid-50s, forecast at a glance for the Wasatch Front tomorrow, 52 for Ogden, Provo, 59, Salt Lake, mid-50s with partly cloudy sky. And then for central and southern Utah, breezy conditions, especially across eastern Utah. Cedar City 71, Ridgefield 67, St. George 87. And for eastern Utah, 81 in Moab, 69 in Price, 67 in Vernal. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy with a lot of wind. So by late morning tomorrow, what you're seeing on the map here is 11 a.m. The pockets of yellow that you're seeing, those are wind gusts about 25 to 35 miles per hour. But take a look at this map as we head into Saturday at 5 p.m. Areas of purple along the Wasatch back, northeast Utah. That's going to be wind gusts stronger than 45 miles per hour. A lot of red, especially east of I-15, so I-70 will be tough tomorrow, especially for high-profile vehicles. Tomorrow evening could see a few areas of very light showers, but what we're tracking for you will be a much stronger storm heading into early next week. So Sunday could see the chance for a few areas of scattered rain and snow across far northern Utah, but check out this. Tuesday morning, 3 a.m., we start seeing our snow levels dropping, widespread precipitation. Into Tuesday morning, we're tracking snow for much of our I-15 corridor, so we're going to see some travel impact. St. George close to 90 on Saturday, 72 on Sunday, 78 Monday, 56 on Tuesday. Chance for some rain and for the Wasatch Front. 40s and 50s this weekend, 61 on Monday. Chances for snow Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, 
hole in one at the Masters today. Stuart Sink making good on his last name. As for Tony and Tiger, they both made a splash through the first 18 holes. Rounds of uh, one under for both yesterday, putting them only four strokes off the lead. But let's see how day two played out. Beginning with the 03 winner, Mike Ware. Two over to start round two. BYU zone failed to birdie up until the 15th today. The tee shot bouncing off a tree. Ware did recover with a great putt to bird the hole, but he also had five bogeys to sit at uh, minus six. Two strokes below the cut line, meaning his time is done. As for Mr. Woods, ended up in a bunker on his first hole. Can't find the green here with the wedge, so a bogey at number one. In fact, Tiger would bogey four of his first five holes. Looks like a high percentage putt at five, but the bend is a titch wide. His first birdie came later at eight. Nice soft chip to set up a gimme putt and gain some momentum. And he did settle down, ending with his par putt at 18. Still in great shape, Tiger is. One over and a tie for 19th. Turn to Finau now. A decent front nine followed by a not-so-decent back nine. The approach, finding the drink at 11. Back-to-back -back bogeys to start the back. He did record one of his two birdies on the next hole at 12. But all in all, Finau drops back to plus two and a tie for 23rd. As for the leader, this guy was hot. Scotty Scheffler, six birdies and no bogeys over his final 12 holes today to command a five-stroke lead at minus eight. Last season, the Jazz edged out Phoenix for the best record in the NBA. This season, however, saw Utah dip and the Suns rise coming into tonight's game. Fifteen games up on Utah with uh, two games left. The Jazz needing a win to keep their hopes of sneaking into that four spot alive. Carlos Boozer, it was his night at the Viv only to watch Phoenix shoot out to an 11-0 run. McCall Bridges followed by Devin Booker getting the friendly bounce, but down 15-2. It was a game of runs, and the Jazz begin theirs. Royce O'Neal calling corner pocket. And then Jordan Clarkson not open here, really not open at all, still knocks down a tough three over Jay Crowder. And then Mike Conley bringing it before the little fling for Rudy Gobert. The Jazz had their first lead by early second quarter. Daniel House Jr. all by himself on this play. The poke in the reverse side layup. Boyan Bogdanovich, good game for him, taking his turn. Utah three at the break before building a very nice lead in the third. How about Rudy exerting the size advantage underneath? But the Suns have since rallied again in the fourth to make it a tight game with just a couple minutes left. Win or lose, still needing some help from Portland tonight at Dallas, but the Jazz did not get it. Luka Doncic dropped 39 for the Mavericks as they led 36 to 13 after one quarter and won the game by 50. So Utah won't have home court in the first round. The best they can do is the five seed in the West. And Utah baseball beginning a three-game set with 15th-ranked UCLA at Smith's Ballpark. Bruins with men on in the second before Matt Sox. Nice baseball name. Gets a check swing to end the frame. Then the bat spark light. Matt Richardson rips home Jaden Kiernan for the Ute lead. Utah adding three more in the fourth. Kiernan this time bringing in the run. Bloop single to right. Scores TJ Clarkson, and then with Richardson back up, he ups his own Annie with a two run shot this time that just does clear that wall and left. UCLA, though, has since forced extra innings. It is tied at five in the tenth. Jazz trying to wow. hang on, Bob. You think they can do it? Oh, I hope so. They look good in those they, highlights. It was a game of runs. It was Phoenix and then Utah, Phoenix, Utah. Oh. Come on, Phoenix, Jazz. You get it. Yeah. Come on, let's do it. All right, thanks so much. We'll be right back. Hey, Salt Lake City, ever like to pull the pickles off your burger and eat them first? Then bite into the new Carl's Jr. Triple Pickle Star, only $2.99. Nine deli-style pickles means triple the delectable flavor. For a limited time, only at Carl's Jr. Bathfitter makes it easy to remodel your bath or shower. Hi, I'm Bill Booman. And I'm Rick Booman from Bathfitter. From the free in-home consultation to the installation, we're with you. Call now and receive up to $450 off or 18 months no interest. It's, it's better, better with, with Bathfitter. Bath Utah's newest RV Superstore is now open. Paris RV Pace it. Pace it. Check out the 2022 Gulfstream 189DD. Only $19,878 or $189 a month. Zero down. Zero down. 2022 down. Open Range 26BH Bunkhouse. Only $25,878 or $245 a month. Zero down. Zero down. 2022 down. XLR Boost 301 RLRE Fifth Wheel Toy Hauler. Only $48,778 or $469 a month. Zero down. Zero down. If you want a super low price, you come see me at Paris RV. I still think I can sell the car myself. This is going to take all day. And I have big plans. Brunch. Bubble bath. 
At WeBuyAnyCar.com, selling your vehicle is always fast and fair. And a nice pedicure. All done. Don't trade in or sell by yourself. Go to WeBuyAnyCar.com now for a free online valuation. Get in, get out, get paid. Xfinity Mobile runs on America's most reliable 5G network, but for 30% less than T-Mobile. So you have more money for more stuff. This phone, fewer groceries. This phone, more groceries. This phone, fewer concert tickets. This phone, more concert tickets. And not just for my shows. Switch to Xfinity Mobile for 30% less than T-Mobile. New and existing customers get amazing value with our everyday pricing. Switch today. Bathfitter makes it easy to remodel your bath or shower. Hi, I'm Bill Booman. And I'm Rick Booman from Bathfitter. From the free and home consultation to the installation, we're with you. Call now and receive up to $450 off or 18 months no interest. It's better, better with, with Bathfitter. Bath Hey, Salt Lake City, want some extra burger with your pickles? The new Carl's Jr. Triple Pickle Star has nine crunchy deli style pickles. Only $2.99 for a limited time. And we think that's a really big deal. Bite into a Triple Pickle Star, only at Carl's Jr. I think so too. American Family Insurance wants to help you bring your dream home to life. New homeowners can save an average of 22%. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. American Family Insurance. If you have a job and a driver's license, you're approved. We don't talk about Bruno, except we do in this case. BYU's Vocal Point collaborated with the One Voice Children's Choir here in Utah to make this awesome music video. This is a unique arrangement of the popular song. We don't talk about Bruno from the Disney film Encanto. We don't talk about Bruno. It's catchy. Quick Cast is up next.